Yo YouTube, Johannes here from Olorne Torto aka Living Row Productions and today we are talking about fonts that you might want to use when you are doing videos or video translations for Asian market. Alright, and before we start, I just want to say that if you find this video any helpful or valuable, please consider subscribing to my channel because it would be very helpful uh, for this channel to grow. But yeah, let's get to the point because nobody has the time. Alright, and little explanation here. Uh, this video's uh, topic or the main point here is uh, what fonts should you use when you are doing videos for Asian markets? What fonts do you use? when you are doing translations uh, of your videos like to Japanese or Chinese or Korean and uh, for example if you have a video that is translated to Finnish or English and your client wants that video to be translated to Japanese or Chinese or whatever Asian uh, country but this video mainly focuses on uh, Japanese, Korean and Chinese uh, that for example I have had to do some at some point translations and yeah so let's get to the point here I have two font families for you what I want to show and you can just choose which font families you want to use so let's go to Google so go to Google and write uh, a Notosans here first one is Notosans so Let's check that out. Google Notosans. So this is uh, part of Google, this Notosans, Notofont family. And as Google says here, uh, Google has been developing a font family called Noto, which aims to support all languages with harmonious look and feel. And it's free to use, it's freely available to all. And yeah, you can download a big Noto font package just from here, Notosans or Noto Serif packages. And for example, this has uh, support for 582 languages and 237 regions. And as you can see, you can see all the font weights here and the countries from here and regions from here, which this font package support but as you can see uh, they don't have the support for Korean language or all of the China languages here or the Japan support here so for those languages you need to go here and write like Japanese and download the uh, Japanese package from here you can see here is the all the font weights and, uh, and uh, support for Japan uh, area here and of course for Korean language you can download also Notosan's uh, uh, KR you can see the letters here and uh, all the font weights and for Chinese also so you have these uh, different Chinese font styles here uh, but yeah you have plenty of options here. Just be sure that you download the right language packages for your use. So, but let's get to the another font family and that is Source Hansans. So you can find the Source Hansans by writing Source Hansans to Google and from where I have downloaded it, it, it has been always here from GitHub. Uh, I just go here. And from here you can see the instructions for this font. So as you can see this is an open source project and uh, it's free to use. And you can download the fonts from here, latest uh, release. So let's go there and see what we have. This is the package super OTC, select this deployment format if you want all languages and all font weights. Yeah, single package from which you can find all the uh, Asian fonts. And let's scroll a little bit down here and from here you can find the language specific font uh, packages. Uh, select this deployment format if you prefer to use only one language but also want full character coverage. You can download the simplified Chinese from here, traditional Chinese, Japanese font family and Korean font family here. If I remember right, I have downloaded always these different Asian languages 
font families from from these links. So I can be sure if I click from here, Korean, uh, it gives me only Korean fonts. And if I click here, Japanese, it will give me only that Japan font. And this has been because, like for example, for one client we needed to do just only Japanese translation. So then I went here and downloaded only uh, the Japanese font from here because I didn't want the uh, whole whole package. But yeah, you can do whatever you want. And yeah, I'm not going to show you how to install these or how to use those fonts. Uh, I, I assume that you can install fonts by yourself. After you install these fonts, you can use them in Adobe After Effects or Adobe Premiere, so you can do your translations uh, in, in those programs. And yeah, this is it. Uh, these are the two font families, the Google Notosans and uh, Sourse Hansans that I have got uh, really good uh, results when I have done uh, some translations for my uh, clients or videos. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps you when you are doing translations or whatever use you need these fonts for. And yeah, if you find this video valuable, please hit the like button and uh, consider subscribing to my channel. I would appreciate appreciate that and uh, follow me on Instagram and uh, Twitter and Facebook. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm Johannes and uh, see you in the next epic video.